You're watching Your View. Thank you for joining us. This is Scott Kaplan and Crew tonight. The very best from today's Scott Kaplan and Crew show on the mightier 1090 AM SoCal Sports Talk. Here's Scott Kaplan, Alex Padilla, and John Browner. Great friends, it is a Thursday afternoon here on Kaplan and Crew. We are in the Seven Mile Casino Studios and happy to have everybody along listening on the airwaves of the Mightier 1090. So radio listeners throughout Southern California, glad you guys are here. I always say it's the heart and soul of our show. It's our YouTube channel and all the people that are in our YouTube chat. We so appreciate you guys. In fact, just a, another quick shout out, um, Neil Umshide who earlier this week, who's a regular in our YouTube chat, Neil contacted me by direct message on Facebook, if you ever need to get a hold of me. And Neil told me about one of our great friends, Christian Hogan, who unfortunately about a week and change ago, lost his stepdaughter in a single car accident. And uh, we posted earlier this week, um, the GoFundMe that the family has set up to uh, for funeral arrangements and so on. They were trying to raise $11,000. At last I saw they were around like five and change. I could check up and see how they're doing. But I know a lot of great friends jumped in. They wanted to help Christian and his family. Christian saw us talking about him on YouTube and then took the video and posted it on Facebook and he shared it with his wife. And she was, you know, she was obviously upset and, uh, but, but appreciative. And so look, we're a family. I always say the YouTubers are the heart and soul because that's, you know, from when we left radio in 2019 and we went into the world of podcasting, YouTube became our home base. Little did we know that the show would eventually go backwards. It would go from YouTube and audio podcast back onto traditional radio and onto traditional cable TV. So uh, again, I always say that the YouTubers are the heart and soul and a, a reminder to everybody who's watching on television. Uh, you only get an hour of the show on Cox's Your View, Channel 4 San Diego, Channel 4 Santa Barbara, and 118 in Palos Verdes and Orange County, so in between. But you only get an hour. But if you want the full show, you go to YouTube.com slash Kaplan and Crew. So happy to have everybody here. Hey, by the way, I'm um, speaking of Orange County for a quick minute. I'm going on Friday night to the Ohana Festival. This is Eddie Vedder, the lead singer of Pearl Jam. He's been putting on this festival in Dana Point for years. I've never been. But I've also never seen Pearl Jam. 30 years of being a Pearl Jam fan. I get into my car. If I'm not listening to AM Sports Talk Radio, I'm listening to the Pearl Jam channel on, uh, on Sirius. I've never seen Pearl Jam. 30 years of being a fan, have never seen the band. Going to see them on Friday night and going to see them on Saturday night all up in Dana Point. Twice? And, uh, you know, Alex, yeah, they're going to play Friday and Saturday night, and I'm going to see them both nights. Are they? Okay, I got questions about that. Uh yeah. Can't be the same set. No, I right? assume they're playing. Are they I mean, doing like, is it like a, is it like we're doing this album and then we're doing this album or do you know how they're doing I, it? I don't, but my assumption is, is that obviously over the course of two nights, they're going to play two completely different sets. I'm going to ask know. a blasphemous question. Yeah. I'm sure in your eyes. Do they have enough hits? To oh my fill God. Two nights. Oh my God. Alex Pearl Jam. If you don't know the band and I, I know, do know them, I just yeah. don't know. I didn't figure they put had it, two put it this way. Oh, put, put it this way. If they played 20 songs one night and 20 songs the next night, mm -hmm. they've still left off 60 songs. Because my understanding is that Eddie Vedder is kind of like like a, like a Dave Matthews, like a Bruce Spring. Like he could play forever. He could just jam yeah. all night. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if he did, and let's say he played three hours each night and he played 25 songs each night, he still got a ton of stuff he didn't play. Not to mention, you know, sometimes they do like Neil Young covers um, yeah. or, or covers from The Who. You know, they, they have other songs that they do from other bands that they like to perform, but I've never seen them live. And, and I will just say one thing Exciting. to everybody. I, I will say one thing to everybody who's watching right now. Browner, do you have any interest in this festival at all? Have you looked at the, the lineup? Have you looked at it? Man, no, I don't know. But down about none of this, bro. Come on now. I well, bro, maybe, maybe there are some bands that a brother would actually like that. It's not just all white people music. No, but see, here's the thing. The yeah. only two white people bands I go see. Dave Matthews Band, Influence in the Machine. That's it. Okay. Well, Alex, if you were able to grab the uh, the, the schedule for the next two nights, What's maybe that would Ohana? inspire Brian. It's called the Ohana, Ohana Fest. And the reason Point. I bring this all up, yeah, Dana Point. I bring it you up for one tickets? quick second. Well, oh, now maybe. that's the question right there. Maybe. I might. Here, here, let me tell you real quick, getting to the Padres and the you disaster that happened. Up? Yeah, go ahead. So here's the deal. Um, Brian, let me know if you see anything up there. That you would watch because it's on the on the right side of the screen 
October 1st and 2nd. I think it's the right side of the screen. I got an um, email with some stuff. Look at Browner. <laughs> <laughs> trying to read it. It's <laughs> uh, great. Put up a put them on the screen at the same time. That'll be even funnier. Well, that's gonna, you can't even read it even less. <laughs> oh, Scott, you know who you're going to like? I can't tomorrow? see it. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, no, never mind. That was the first weekend. Oh, because here's if you just put up the second weekend, which I don't think you can actually do. But Friday night, I'm not going to get up there till like eight o'clock at night. So I'm just getting up there for Pearl Jam. Now, the second night, um, I plan on spending some afternoon time by a pool because we're going to have some really warm weather this upcoming White weekend. Reaper. What the hell? I, dude, I don't know. Some of these bands, I don't really know. But here's the thing. The reason I brought this all up was this. So me and my girlfriend, Rachel, and our our girlfriend, Lynn, whoa. the three of us. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. Hey, not whoa. exactly like that, but it's the three I of us. I like Rachel for some. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> the three of us are going up there. The, the girls are going up there on Friday afternoon. They're going to hang by the pool. They're going to go to the show. I'll meet them at the show. On Saturday, um, we'll hang by the pool. We'll chill out, whatever. And then we'll go over to the show and we'll have a good time. And then we'll, we'll see Pearl Jam on Saturday night. And then we'll come home on Sunday. This actually, seeing Pearl Jam is going to have me miss my son's college football game. Oh, on well. Saturday night. Yeah. Be another I mean, one. Hey, listen, more to come. There'll be others. There'll be others. Hopefully. So um, the one thing I just want to say to all the great friends, I'm, o- I'm only going to say this here. I'm not going to put this on social media. I'm not going to say this on ESPN in Los Angeles. I'm only going to say this here to great friends. I might, might have three tickets and a hotel room Friday night. Wow. Whoa. Browner, how can you not take that? You're not going to New York, man. Whoa, hold on now. See, this was not introduced into the situation. Now I know that I'm playing with a free room and some tickets. Oh, I didn't say free. Who is White Reaper? Oh, I didn't didn't say free. I didn't say free. Although Rachel did say, Rachel did say, she goes, you know, listen, if we can't find somebody who wants this hotel room, because it's a, it's a suite in a hotel right on the ocean. She's like, if we can't, because we got other rooms at a, at a more convenient location. She's like, if, if we can't find somebody who wants this hotel room, um, you know, we may have to, uh, what's going on here? Oh my God. Wait a second. You have no idea. I'm in the middle of a broadcast. My garage door is open and a hike. Hey, hello. Hi. You're about to get to the I good see stuff. Your th- I see your three-year-old, a, a child just literally come on in. A child walked into my, my garage door is open outside. I'm like, no, it's okay. Uh, lady has just walked in. Okay. Her what three-year-old lady? child. I don't know. I don't know these people. A three-year-old child walked into my house, like a, you know, like a stray dog. And mom has come to chase the kid. What is your name? Hi, Jackie. Can you got to come say hello? Just come say hello real quick. You got to come say hello. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. What's your name, little hello. guy? Hello. What's your, Pierce? Hey, Pierce. nice name. Good job, man. You see a garage door open, you just walk in. Bye, Jackie. All right, you too. Man, Bye, you live in a man. You live in a God, white. You live in the whitest neighborhood. You sure you don't live in San Juan, Sun Valley, safe. Idaho, bro? You're so safe there, man. God. <laughs> Damn. What the hell? You don't even. They just, oh. just random strangers running your house, and you Dude, just, like get pop up and grab a bat. I I could hear I could hear like kids outside. And I was like nobody nobody's here, and I keep my garage door open sometimes when there's nobody here. The dog's not here, and none of my kids are here, so I keep the garage door open because I get some nice airflow through the house. All of a sudden, this little kid comes running through my house, and I can hear mom out like I'm sorry, my son ran into your house like a stray dog. Hilarious. That's funny. That's good, white. Good for Browner. you. Man. Good for you. <laughs> That's white. That's white. Right oh, what, dude? What can I tell you, man? You're going to like a super white music festival, and then you just showed how white your neighborhood is, too. Yeah, man. I'm I'm so happy for you. Yeah, it's I'm awesome. So happy for you. Congratulations. I wish we all could live in the comforts of an up garage where some random toddler some, could run inside my house. Some strange lady runs in my house and is like, what the hell are you doing? Get out. Dude, I right. high fived her kid for coming into my house, trespassing. Right. Just rewarding trespassers, man. Which listen again, I'm so happy for you. I'm happy for you. I really am. That's no, not the I don't last sense, time you see this kid. I don't right. sense that you're happy for me at all. In fact, no, I sense I that you're disgusted by my whiteness. No, no, no. <laughs> disgust is a very heavy word. I wouldn't say disgusted. Right? Hey man, you gotta work your you gotta work your way up to those kinds of neighborhoods. Good for you. Right. I I'm, know, really, yeah, I said, I'm proud of you, dog. That's a that's life's work for your neighborhood can be that calm and a <laughs> random white child could just run up in their laws, bro. <laughs> Because you know they look for white kids forever when they go missing. So listen, you oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, look at take a, look at this dude right now, man. That's what I'm saying. They'll take off the entire salon and beach to find the white kids they went missing. Dude. Yeah. Well, what is that? Right what now. is that? Yeah. What is the name of that? The, the girl who went missing, who they found I don't know her, her last remains. Name. Her first name was Gabby. Yeah, and then the guy. 
I, this, this story actually freaked me out because the guy, the parents of Gabby, called the boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, so you're home and Gabby's not with you. So where is she? And the guy's like, uh, I can't say anything. And they're like, yeah. well, hold on. Wait, wait. You and my daughter right. went on a van trip across the country. You're home. She's not. And I'm asking you where she is. And you're telling me you can't say anything. So then the parents call the other parents. Hey, um, listen. So my son or my daughter and your son went on a cross country van trip. And your son's home, and my daughter's not home. Can you please, parent to parent, can you help me out here? And the parents on the other end of the phone are like, sorry, can't really say much, bye. Wait, what the hell's wrong with you people? Like, for me, my first thought was, I'm driving to their house, yep. and I'm starting to kick freaking ass. Mom, dad, kid, anybody in the way. Little kid comes running in, I'll kick his ass too. I saw how pissed <laughs> off you got when you thought you were your daughter was exposed to COVID. You were like freaking out. Remember the house story? Oh, oh yeah, the, the guy well, the that's kid at the gym. Yeah, yeah the kid at, at the, the gym, gym who told her. Yeah, who imagine, lied to her. Imagine that kid makes your daughter disappear. Oof. Yeah, I can't listen. Oh. I can't tolerate that. I, those people are better than me because if my daughter went missing, I called you because you're the parents of the boyfriend. He hang up. He can't talk. You hang up. You can't talk. The police better get there before me. I saw a TikTok yeah. this morning that said, "If Dog the Bounty Hunter catches this guy before the FBI, yeah. I'm no longer paying taxes." Yeah. Well, if Dog the Bounty Hunter <laughs> catches this guy, I mean, he wants his reward, I'm sure. But man, it'd be great if Dog the Bounty Hunter, you know, put a beat down on this guy before he handed him over. You know, I did see a TikTok of a guy that looked exactly like I believe his name is Brian Laundry. Uh, that's the dude that's missing uh, or hiding. That there yeah. is a TikToker who was like, I am not Brian Laundry. He looks exactly exactly like Brian Laundry. He's like, wow. Any tips for me? Because I got to go to a wedding today and I have to get on a plane here no, he, and he literally he did the whole like who was the girl that 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 um the donald sterling girl like she, mm -hmm. he did the whole face cover Stiviano. never took it yeah. off in the Beast airport Stiviano. it was hilarious <laughs> all right listen um i want to talk talk about the padres this all Man, you know, where's got my hotel room my ticket bro you never talked you never got to so, the point so okay here's the point i got three i may may have three tickets and a hotel room for friday night so if i have that um I can't really do much for you on Saturday, although I, I, I could probably give you one of the two hotel rooms on Saturday night. Um, but I, I may have three tickets and a hotel room. So I'm saying to all the great friends out there, if going to the Ohana Festival to see Pearl Jam on Friday night seems great to you, I might have three tickets and I definitely have a hotel room and contact me. And, you know, if, if everything goes through, I could... Um, you can have them for cost. I mean, I'm not, I'm not giving them away because they cost a lot of money. Uh, and actually, I didn't pay for them. Somebody Sorry, else Browner. did, so it's not me. No, but Browner, what Rachel did say, though, was she's like, listen, if we can't find somebody to take this off our hands, we should give it to somebody who's part of our, our group, you know, part of our fam. And she specifically, she specifically said, um, why don't you ask Browner and Alex if they would be into this? And I said, Alex is going to Oakland to go see Los Bukis. Yeah. I said, and Browner is probably going to tell me that there's too many white people. Um, I said, but Facts. you know, we'll we'll see. Facts. I don't is even right. know what Pearl Jam sing. What they sing? Come on, man. <laughs> you know, you know that you know that they sing a song that you would really <laughs> like. You know, song. you want to know that you want you want to know one of my favorite songs that that Pearl Jam sings that you might really like. What? The song is called Black. Now, come on, man. Come on, man. I'm just got the song called Black. It could be terrible. No, it's great. Oh, the it's great. <laughs> Sing it, Alex. Yeah, I don't know any of the words, but yeah, that's no, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's really, really good. Yeah. Very well done. I love Pearl I, Jam. I just don't know most. I don't know so, uh, names of their songs, but I love them. All right, let me do this. Let me have a minute here, and then I'm going to get to the Padres. Um, I want to mention I Thrive MD because I thought it was really interesting this week when Dr. Samir Damani stopped by the show. It was his first appearance on the show, and I'm I'm look. I'm bringing these guys on the show because I've always had the philosophy that the sponsors should be part of the family. You should know them. You should see them. You should hear them. The reason Gary Cooper gets so many people that call him a mountain trust is because they see him on the air. They trust him. They get to know him. Same thing is going to happen here for Dr. Samir Damani and I Thrive MD. You're hearing from the doctor. You have questions about testosterone. You have questions about aging. You have questions about your overall health 
you're hearing from the doctor, you're seeing the doctor so that when you go into the clinic to see him, you'd be like, yo, I saw you on the show. I feel like I know you already and I'm glad to, to, to meet you face to face and I'm glad that you're helping me out. Here's the phone number. It's 858-240-1497, 858-240-1497. And I invite you to make an appointment and here's why. Guys who are over 40 years old, 35% of us, so the statistics say, have low testosterone. When you have low testosterone, you may be fatigued. You may have low sex drive, brain fog, depression. It's just not a good situation. And by the way, um, patients who have low testosterone are twice as likely to die from cardiovascular disease compared to their peers who have normal testosterone levels. Here's what Dr. Damani and I Thrive are going to do. Free testosterone test and a complimentary NAD injection. And NAD is, is the energy producers in the cell, the mitochondria. It, listen, I'm using big words that I don't really know how to throw around. Your energy level's lower because the, you, you age. When you get these NAD injections, it picks up all the energy in your cells, in the mitochondria of the cells. It's a fancy word. Suffice it to say, I'm taking these NAD injections and I am on fire with energy. I Thrive MD, go to our website, kaplanandcrew.com, click on the I Thrive MD logo as Alex just did. It'll show you the offers and then I invite you to make an appointment. ithrivemd.com slash Kaplan is their website. It's our landing page. ithrivemd.com slash Kaplan. And I hope you guys will all take advantage of this opportunity to uh, to really work on your health and, uh, and anti-aging. Mm-hmm. All right. Shall we keep going, Alex? We're good. We're good. Okay. So listen, I want to talk about the Padres and the disaster last night uh, against the God, Dodgers. Do we have to? Do you want to play yes. for us? Well, I want Alex to play because he has put together a bit of a montage, oh, if oh, you will. A terrible, terrible montage. Yeah. You, you guys want to see this? Here, I'll, I'll, we'll play it for you. This is what happened when Jace Tingler put Emilio Pagan, the relief pitcher, the guy who loves to serve up batting practice home runs. This is what happened when Pagan came into the game and the Padres had a sizable lead in the eighth inning. Go ahead and play it, Alex. 2-2 is in the air to deep right center field. Back goes Myers at the wall, and it's gone. Oh, no. In the air to deep right field. Back goes Myers at the wall. It's gone. <laughs> Mud, man. In the air to deep right field. Back no. goes Myers. This game is tied. Pagan has allowed three home runs in the eighth inning, and the Dodgers have tied it up nine to nine. In the air to right field, back goes Myers, and it's gone. A two-run home run for Corey Seager, his 13th of the year. The Dodgers have not only come all the way back to tie this up, they've taken an 11-9 lead in the bottom of the eighth on the strength of their fourth home run of the inning. This is bottom. That's the line. That's the line right there at the end by Don Orsillo. This is bottom. You thought that being destroyed in the month of August and, and falling on your face in the month of September, you thought three weeks ago having a sizable lead in the wild card race only to be completely overtaken by St. Louis and their 17 game winning streak. You thought you'd already seen the bottom of this Padre season. And Don Orsillo declares as you're watching Will Myers ball after ball, after ball, after ball, flying out over his head, standing out in the outfield with his hands on his knees, with his head down. You thought that you'd already seen rock bottom Don Orsillo last night on the Padres television broadcast, he says, this is bottom. Wow. You've already been eliminated. You have become a national laughing stock because of the failures and, and the expectations. And Don Orsillo says, this is bottom. Whoa. Grande, give me feedback. <laughs> You know, I, I don't disagree with that line because obviously that's as bad as it's been visually. That is a terrible performance. That is a terrible coaching decision. That is terrible. Like, if, did AJ Preller just forget to pick up the phone and tell Tingler it's okay to take him out? Because Tingler's not the one that's making that decision. So it was terrible. But I think the bottom for me will never not be getting no hit by the Diamondbacks and then following that series by getting hit uh, swept by the Rockies. Like, that was the bottom. That was the catapult to the rest of this season of what has happened, what has transpired. Yesterday was the most embarrassing inning of the season. 
I don't think it's more embarrassing than getting no hit by a first time ever starter for me, but that was the most embarrassing worst inning of the season. Wow. Y'all already Look at Brown. Look at Brown. I'm so disgusted. I, I, how, how, bro? So what, like, what is he doing over there? What is he doing as the guy is giving up home run after home run after home run? Like, take him out. He ain't got it. He ain't had it for a while. But in this particular time, at this particular moment, he ain't got it. So I don't know what more. Because now, now I'm about to turn on Preller. I really am. Welcome. Yeah, about, nice I'm to a, have you on our side. I'm, a, I'm about to turn on Preller next, dog, and I don't want to do it because I like the construction of this roster. But if he is going to show this much lack of will to get rid of this guy with four games left, I know some people say, well, there's only four games left. No, he needs to go now. Yeah. yeah well, 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 hold on a second. Let, let, let's get to that because coming right up, you'll hear from Jace Tingler. What did he have to say? What could he say after this game? You're going to hear from Jace Tingler next. We are in the Seven Mile Casino Studios. This is Kaplan and crew with Grande and the Brown Man. Let's keep this Padre discussion, this disaster going next. We'll be right back with more of Scott Kaplan and crew tonight. The very best from today's Scott Kaplan and crew show on the mightier 1090 AM. A new generation of radio. SoCal Sports Talk. Kaplan Accrued tonight is brought to you by BMW San Diego, your certified BMW dealer, serving drivers throughout San Diego and their surrounding areas. And they're on. Welcome back. Please join us in welcoming the race and sports radio show back home to 1090. Join host Felix Taverna every Saturday at 9 a.m. for the very best horse racing coverage in all of Southern California. The all new and mightier 1090. SDCCU is an engaged community partner. Each year, SDCCU is proud to support many nonprofit organizations throughout Southern California. Our partnerships allow us to help shape the financial lives of many through volunteerism, financial support, and creating public awareness. The result is a big impact on the communities we serve. SDCCU, it's not big bank banking, it's better. Federally insured by NCUA. Find out more at SDCCU.com. Great things can be achieved when a community comes together. Join Erica Cardenas on Doing More as she introduces you to ordinary people working side by side to confront tremendous challenges and make a positive impact in their community. Watch Doing More Sunday night at 6 on Your View or stream it online at yourview.com. Join the Walk for Alls at Balboa Park on October 16th. Every dollar raised stays local to help San Diegans with dementia. Register at alzsd.org walk. This year, Jobtoberfest is Wednesday, October 13th. It's the largest annual job fair in San Diego County for people with disabilities. Goodwill is one of our major sponsors. Goodwill San Diego is proud of our ongoing participation with Jobtoberfest. As an employer of people with disabilities, we recognize the tremendous value they add to the workplace and the importance paid work makes in their lives. Together, we are making good happen. Up to 30% of COVID-19 patients become long haulers with persistent symptoms months after the infection. What I've been finding with my patients is that it's taking up to three to six months for them to recover their endurance exercise capacity and get them back to work or to their usual activities of daily living. What I wasn't able to do was the basic needs like brush your teeth, take a shower because of the shortness of breath, the tightness in my chest. Uh, The symptoms that concern me the most, the shortness of breath. So restrictive, you know, you go through and you just take for granted that, you know, you're gonna breathe. And when that gets taken away, it's a scary thought. Unfortunately, I'm six months out now from my diagnosis and I'm still suffering from several of of the symptoms. My experience with the patients I've sent to La Mesa Rehab has been extremely positive. The patients come back with good reports, and when I see them in the office, their exercise capacity has improved dramatically. I'm getting there because of La Mesa Rehab. Teatro means theater in Spanish, and in Portuguese, and in Tagalog, and in Italian, and in so many languages. We have a lot of communities, a lot of culture here, so that is the reason why 
Teatro is in the name. The mission of Teatro San Diego is to provide arts education to underserved communities, specifically in schools. Our goal is also in tandem with arts education to provide a professional theater company and dance company so that the community can see themselves reflected on stage at the professional level. Places like Subaru have really been so supportive and have helped us come up with projects like the AMI project. I was so honored to be at an event a few days ago and heard some of the songs from it. These guys rock. This is just an amazing thing that everyone needs to see. Southern California Radio is a special game, a unique game, from the sandy beaches of the Baja and all the way to Santa Barbara. My voice sounds pretty cool. <laughs> the all-new and mightier 1090. Adventure is waiting for you at BMW San Diego. A new 2022 BMW X3 xDrive 30i waiting for you today when you lease for only $519 per month plus tax. BMW San Diego, Kearney Mesa Road and the 163. This year, Jobtoberfest is Wednesday, October 13th. It's the largest annual job fair in San Diego County for people with disabilities. Let's hear from one of our major sponsors. At Marsty, we recognize the value that individuals with disabilities, as well as those in recovery from substance use, can bring to the workforce, especially to those who want to or are currently counseling those with disabilities and substance use disorder. Marsty is proud to partner with Jobtoberfest. Nothing about the last year was normal, but you weathered it with grace, ingenuity, and creativity. In empty classrooms and full Zooms, you kept it together when we were apart. For all that you are, for all that you do, we salute you. Salute to Teachers is proudly sponsored by these charitable companies. Adventure is waiting for you at BMW San Diego. A new 2022 BMW X3 xDrive 30i waiting for you today when you lease for only $519 per month plus tax. BMW San Diego, Kearney Mesa Road and the 163. Kaplan and Crew tonight presents Let's Talk Hookup. Hi, this is Pete Gray with this week's Fish Report. And although fall's consistently our best time of the year, this fall hasn't been so great. But there are some bright spots. San Clemente Island, Catalina Island, still consistent on some of that smaller grade yellowfin tuna or yellowtail. And then outside where that bluefin tuna has been, that stuff's pushing west and it's not biting as consistently, but there's still some good fish if you get the right weather. The bright spot, the San Diego local banks like the 371, the 425, Good yellowfin tuna fishing on the right day with the right setup, 15 to 35 pound fish, biting number two gamakatsu hooks and Seaguar gold fluorocarbon. So be sure to set up with the right equipment. And if you're there on the right day when they want to bite, you're going to have some good action. And this weekend on Let's Talk Hookup, be sure to tune in. We're going to have a couple of great shows. So tune in on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090. Let's Talk Hookup airs on Mightier 1090, Saturday and Sunday, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Here it comes, Jalen Johnson. Three touchdowns on tonight. Watch out. Brought down right at the line of scrimmage. To the end zone. Christakos pulls it in. What a catch. Over the middle, right there in his hand. They throw down towards the end zone. It's strong. Thibodeau breaks another tackle. Big run up the middle. Touchdown. Guerrero Stadium in San Diego. It has been a sellout the last few days. Royal oh, SC ready to kick off this season. Oh, We'll be right back with more of Scott Kaplan and Crew tonight. The very best from today's Scott Kaplan and Crew show on the mightier 1090 AM. A new generation of radio. SoCal Sports Talk. You're watching Kaplan and Crew tonight. 
powered by the mightier 1090 in your view, featuring the best sports talk in SoCal. This is Kaplan and crew along with Grande and the Brown man from the seven mile casino studios. For those of you that are listening on the radio, on the airwaves of the mightier 1090 throughout Southern California, happy to have all of you guys along listening on radio. You're about to meet a guest for the first time and you'll see him and hear him many more times beyond today. For those of you that are watching on YouTube, I want all you guys on YouTube to pay very, very close attention to what Dr. Damani is about to tell us here today. And for those of you that catch the show on TV, you catch a show on Channel 4 San Diego, Channel 4 Santa Barbara, Channel 118 in Palos Verdes and in Orange County. I want all of you guys who are watching this evening to really perk up and listen carefully to what Dr. Damani is about to tell us, because I always tell you guys, I Thrive MD is about longevity and health and wellness. And I plan on being here for a really long time and I want to be healthy throughout that time. So Dr. Damani and I Thrive MD helping me with that, and they can help you as well. Because Browner, let me tell you something. And I told this to Dr. Damani last week when he and I spoke. I told you last week that I am middle-aged at 50 years old. And you laughed at me, and you said I am not middle-aged. You're not. <laughs> what do you mean? You're not, man. Listen, middle. you're assuming that middle age that you're going to make it to 100, bro. You're not going to do it. You're well, not going to do it. Well, I would argue challenge that with accepted. The, right, right. <laughs> with the help of Dr. Damani and the help of I Thrive MD and getting myself as healthy and as well and sleeping well and all the other things that he can help with, I plan on living for a very long time. Here Listen, is Dr. Yeah, go ahead. Dr. Dumani will be Jeff Bezos rich if you make it to 100. All right. Well, let's see. Here is Dr. Samir Damani. He runs the I Thrive MD clinic. And he's been a great partner and sponsor of the show. And now here we, we get a chance to put the face and the name and the voice and everything together. Dr. Damani, it is great to have you on the show. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, Scott. You, uh, you, you give me any chance to make it to 100, Doc. Hey, listen, man, I think uh, with all the things coming out these days, you know, health span, you know, is, is getting bigger. I mean, it's not even about living that long, right? It's living with vitality and vigor. So, you know, if you can lift to 85 or 90, but doing the same things that you're doing at 85 or 90, that when you were 50 or 40, you know, that that is just as valuable in some ways than living to 100, but being in a wheelchair or a bed, right? So I think, you know, as our as we are evolving as society, we're, we're starting to rethink what it means to live long. Yeah. Hey, doctor, let, let's jump right into this. I have been telling people on the radio for many years, about what testosterone can do for you. And I told you this story the other day. I had a really close friend of mine. He's driving down the road. He hears me talking about I Thrive MD, and he calls me and says, are you really taking testosterone? I said, I, I've been taking it for a really long time, but I've come to I Thrive MD now where I feel like I'm getting a, a higher level of, of understanding of what testosterone really does for my body. So if you could start us off with, why is it that so many guys over 40 have low testosterone and why is it important for them to get their testosterone levels right? No, it's, it's a great question. So, you know, to start above the age of 40, your natural production, and this is known, you know, you have menopause in women and, you know, some people jokingly call it menopause in men, but, you know, as you age, your, your organs, your reproductive organs don't produce as much testosterone, your testicles don't produce as much testosterone as they used to. And it's well known that above the age of 40, you know, depending on what population you screen, uh, up to one in three men can have it. And when you start looking at those with chronic conditions like hypertension, obesity, diabetes, up to one in two men um, are deficient in testosterone. And what we found lately, and in fact, this was published in the Journal of American College of Cardiology. It's a very, very prestigious cardiac journal. Just a few years ago, there's a state called a state of the art review where before I started looking at this, I, I, I did really deep research into kind of what the data shows, but it started to show where, listen, if you're deficient in testosterone, your risk for mortality and cardiovascular mortality is two to three X, depending on what studies you look at. So there's a significant um, link to death and, and mortality with low testosterone states. And I think people, you know, just like uh, with women's hormones, uh, you know, physicians have been 
kind of uh, scared away from using testosterone uh, because of some of the data associated with uh, prostate cancer. And, you know, a lot of that has been debunked or if hasn't been debunked, it's certainly been, you know, uh, controversial in terms of the, the link to prostate cancer. It just really hasn't been proven to be the case. And so there's a lot of doctors today that shy away from the use of it. And then the other thing too, is, you know, you have a range of over 800, that's normal. I mean, how do you have a range that's 300 could be normal and 1000 can be normal, right? And so we know that testosterone fluctuates under stress under fasting states. So long story short, you know, there's a lot of reasons why people should be concerned about uh, checking their testosterone and possibly replacing it. You know, to me, I've always told guys that testosterone, especially when you're over 40 years old, we know that the stats say that one in three guys over 40 years old uh, has low testosterone. And I've told everybody, here are the symptoms, muscle loss, uh, a lack of motivation, a lack of sex drive, erectile dysfunction, brain fog, depression. I mean, I, I've described all of these symptoms, doctor, uh, of, of low testosterone. Do testosterone injections, I mean, do they really, I mean, at least in your experience, what kind of success rate do you have when somebody like myself, I'm, I was shocked. I, most recently I was in iThrive. I, I had my blood work done and yet again, my testosterone was low. Does it, does, does it, in your experience, does it really help all of those different symptoms? Everyone's very unique. Um, some people's primary um, symptom is they just don't have any get up and go. They, they can't get up. They don't have the energy. Others are erectile dysfunction. Um, others are- That's a whole nother get up and go. Yeah, that, that get, there's two different get up and goes, right? Yeah, so, <laughs> so depression is a big part. We see a lot of depression, a lot of fatigue, a lot of lack of motivation. Um, the two big ones are, you know, uh, Erectile dysfunction is obviously one, and, and, and low sex drive. That, those are the two big ones, um, you know. But but they can present. Anyone can present across the board with any of these symptoms. Absolutely. All right, we're talking to Dr. Samir Damani from iThrive MD. Uh, he has been a great partner of ours, uh, but this is the first time he's making an appearance on the show. Hey, Doc. Before we talk about a bunch of other stuff. Um, Regular guys like us, we should be coming in to see you guys. And we can talk a lot about different things that you guys do. Uh, and again, this is not the first and only time you'll be on the show, but talk to us about some pro athletes from different sports that come in and visit and what, what they're doing inside of iThrive MD. Yeah, we have several on our website, you know, uh, Phil Davis, who's a, um, a light heavyweight champion for mixed martial art, uh, Bellator. Um, we've got Jaleel Dai who's come in and, and there's, NFL players in particular are getting a lot of NAD and ozone therapy and, you know, uh, through us. Uh, we also have a number of um, athletes and also patients in general doing a lot of cancer screening through us uh, with whole body MRI and some of the protocols that we've developed. But in particular, what we're finding in terms of the athletes is that they are uh, getting NAD because the three drivers of aging and, and you know, those are one is inflammation, uh, two is tissue repair, your body doesn't repair itself as much. And then three is actually something called mitochondrial dysfunction. And, you know, as you age, your mitochondria, which are the kind of engines of your cell, don't produce energy like, uh, you know, you did when you were 20 or even 30 for that matter. So once you start getting to your late 30s, you get a significant decrease in the function of these mitochondria to be able to produce uh, ATP, which is a, a cofactor for almost every enzyme in your body. And so with that, the NAD is a actual cofactor for producing energy for the mitochondria. So it's been shown to really help with mitochondrial dysfunction, chronic fatigue syndrome, um, a number of a cognitive uh, type of deficits. And so a lot of athletes are getting NAD with ozone therapy because they increase the pool for NAD to really help the mitochondria function better. And they, they sleep better, they have more energy. So we have a lot of patients who come in who don't have um, low testosterone that want to try something to help them uh, get an edge. And it's, it's no different than taking a vitamin B12 shot, but the data is a little bit more compelling. The science, the basic science behind it, there's been papers written in Cell, and in, um, which, is, which is one of the top, you know, really basic science journals as well as science on the, the benefits of NAD therapy. So the, the NAD and ozone seems to be a very popular uh, product um, you know, I take it myself as well. And I've noticed quite a bit of difference. 
Um, but that's we've, we've, the, we've had, the one that I think a lot of people seem to really uh, like in particular. All right, we're talking to Dr. Samir Damani. I didn't mean to cut you off, but Alex, we, we've had Phil in the show, haven't we? We had him in. Didn't he come in about, I don't know, a couple of years ago with Paul Vaden? Have, we, we've met him before. Phil Davis, been on the, Phil Davis has been on the show a few times because he's a friend or he's a training partner of Dominic Cruz, who's a friend of the show. But yes, yeah. uh, him and um, Paul Vaden came in studio when Conor McGregor fought Floyd Mayweather to break down the, the nuances of MMA versus boxing. Right, right, right. Yeah, we got to get Phil back on. Doc, I would love to talk to Phil and have him on and kind of compare notes um, as to, you know, the benefits of the NAD therapy that he's getting through iThrive and the NAD therapy that I'm getting through iThrive. Can you, again, I, I know you were just kind of getting into it, but you're a regular guy out there. You're 40 plus, you've heard about testosterone, you've thought about coming in. Now, all of a sudden, I'm hitting you on the radio and on TV with, well, now I've added NAD. Um, and, and I've asked you to kind of, if you would, dumb it down for us. Just, just make it simple. What does an NAD injection do? I know you just talked about mitochondria and cells, but just in the simplest of terms. Sure, sure. It just helps your cells produce the energy um, that require to run the metabolic processes that that a normal cell has to run. And it's every cell in the body, whether it's the brain, muscles, these all use, uh, need energy, you know, and, and the conversion of, of basic nutrients to energy is assisted by NAD. It's as simple as that. The production of energy um, for the cells, so it helps with just your cells to function better than they would otherwise. So I am taking NAD now, guys. Um, and I, I gotta say, Dr. Damani, I feel great. You know, um, I just, I feel like I'm sleeping really, really well. I feel like I have very deep sleep. Um, last night I even said to myself, you know what? Um, I had a long weekend when I say long, I mean, I, I, I put a lot in to a short period of time and I want to have energy all week long. And I think I went to bed last night, at like nine 30 in the morning or nine 30 at night, woke up at six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Big night of sleep, feel great, deep sleep. And then I do believe that there is a tangible difference in my energy levels since I started taking NAD. I'm working out more. My workouts are better. I feel like I'm a bit stronger. I mean, I don't want to over advertise this stuff. I mean, but, I, but I'm telling you, like, I feel like I was able to, to get the immediate impact of NAD. Yeah, no, it's uh, if you watch on our website there's a three minute video by phil davis actually and as i mentioned he just won the light heavyweight championship i think was for uh, bellator and he talks exactly about the things that you speak to recovery being better sleep uh your greater amount of deep sleep and you know we encourage all of our patients to get the something called the aura ring which is a ring that tracks your sleep but you're absolutely right i mean i experience the same things i you know i'll, I'll take an nad injection um, you know, sometimes, you know, when I've had, like you said, just a, you know, a, a stretch of high stress, whether it's uh, self-induced or work-related, mm -hmm. um, you know, and the, the impact is very similar for a lot of our patients. So we're hearing them talk about improved sleep, improved recovery, uh, ability to have more energy to work out. All those things are very real. Now, everyone's a little different, you know, um, it's not a pan, it's not a, uh, a panacea, it's not a cure-all, but definitely from a wellness perspective, it attacks one of those three pillars of aging, which is the mitochondria uh, dysfunction. You know, the other two is inflammation and the other one is tissue repair. So if you don't do anything with those two, um, you know, you know, you, you may have really high levels of inflammation. So the NAD may not work as well in that situation because you've got to control the inflammation. And some of that might be from your gut. Some of it might be from other, you know, chronic autoimmune diseases. So there's a lot to go out there, but for a general, uh, generally healthy um, middle-aged person um, who is active and wants to stay active and have vigor, you know, the, the NAD is a, is a good way going about it. Um, right, so I, I have talked Dr. Damani into one thing, Alex, before we, I say I've talked him into it. It didn't take that much. Um, I said, doc, I said, look, we're telling people to go to our website, kaplanandcrew.com to click on, on the iThrive logo, or you can go to iThriveMD.com slash Kaplan, and you can find out what iThriveMD services are and things that you can get for free. Like, for example, you know, when, when they do work, blood work to, che to check your testosterone, they will do that for free. They will, they will make sure they will check your testosterone levels for free. But I said, doc, 
I love this NAD so much, and I really want to share this with all the guys who watch and who listen. So Dr. Damani and I have come up with a, a little bit of a, a game plan here. Doc, can we get patients, people who are listeners to the show, viewers of the show, people who are going to become new patients at iThrive, can we get them at least their first NAD injection? Absolutely. At a really good deal. Or, or maybe even, I hate to say, I, I don't mean to take money out of your pocket, Doc, but can we get them an NAD injection so they can feel what I'm feeling? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, you know, we, with the, uh, with the free low testosterone test, um, we can absolutely give people a trial, a free trial for a, a single NAD injection while they're in the office just to see how they can feel. Um, you know, but absolutely, I think it's something that, uh, is easy enough for your listeners to who, I, who who is an engaged population that really wants to find out how they can really improve their health span and, and, and do more to be proactive and preventive. So yeah, absolutely. We'd love to do that. All right, cool. Alex, you were about to jump in. Excuse me. No, I was going to ask about, um, we're always, you guys say like a, at the, around the age of 40, but you said Phil Davis is, is one of your clients and I know he's not 40. So is there a minimum age or is it, is individually, that's kind of what you go Great off. Question. Of. Great question. So, you know, Phil Davis is in the age of 40, but if you look at the kind of training regimens that, you know, mm -hmm. they go through. So for example, I won't mention the team, but there's certain teams that I've heard, you know, that are getting, you know, NAD and ozone injections every week, NFL, you know, because the kind of impact that you have that, you know, playing football, playing a contact sport like that, taking hits to the head, to the body, um, you deplete your NAD much quicker. And so a lot of athletes, um, you know, Jaleel Adai from the, um, uh, formerly of the, I don't know where he is right now, um, but, you know, he's come in and, and, you know, benefited from the uh, NAD and ozone therapy as well. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. You know, it is generally, you know, for those of us that are not getting hit in the head and, you know, putting in, you know, 20 hours of a week, you know, uh, you know, physical activity, but those that are, this has been, you know, a lot of the, a lot of those patients really swear by a lot of those athletes really swear by it. So I think you don't have to be above 40 or there's no magic cutoff. I mean, the reality is your NAD and your mitochondria decline in function really starting in your, you know, upper twenties. So, you know, anybody who's interested in really, uh, being able to have that kind of edge, uh, you know, are certainly a, a candidate for it. All right. We're talking to Dr. Samir Damani, I Thrive MD, and recommending to all the guys out there, come on in, you know, get a testosterone test, you know, test your levels, see where they are. I still can't believe it, Doc. I walk in with this big ego, like, yeah, my testosterone's off the charts. I got lots of energy. I can ride my bike all weekend. I can go for runs. You know, I'm, I'm very you know, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm pretty active in the bedroom. I feel like I've got high testosterone. And then you guys do the test and my testosterone's low. I'm actually coming in on Friday morning um, to get a, uh, to get a testosterone injection, but I can deliver those NAD injections to myself at home. So uh, right. I'm, lo I'm loving the services. Well, I'm glad you are. And, you know, I think we're looking to kind of help bring, you know, these kind of, uh, you know, performance optimization to the masses. I think it's been used by, athletes and, and others for a number of years, um, those with means, but I think we're looking to really bring it to the masses. You know, I think there's elements of this that can be applied across the population. Yeah, it's interesting, Alex. There was a good question about Phil Davis being, being so much younger. We got to get him on the show again. We got to get him back, talk to him about this because he's having a lot of success using it. And uh, as Dr. Damani is saying, there are a lot of NFL teams that are now using, because I guess, yeah. Doc, this, this stuff all passes the test, right? I mean, NFL players can take NAD injections and ozone uh, therapy. Well, and and, and it, It's part of every, I mean, it, you know, uh, certainly a lot of hormones are regulated, but, you know, to, to what I know, and again, I don't know the details. Let me be very clear here that I'm not involved at all with these organizations in terms of testing, but from what I hear, um, these are just, you know, cofactors, vitamin, no different than a vitamin B12 shot. And so I, my understanding is that they are not regular. It'd be hard to test for either way because it's it's part of every, like I mentioned, NAD is is almost, a, it's a cofactor for a lot of different uh, processes in your body. And testing for it, I'm not sure, is, is very, very easy to do either as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I will see you guys on Friday, doctor. 
I uh, look forward to coming in. I like to come in. I like to get to know everybody in the office. Alex, you know who works uh, in Dr. Dohani's office? Who? Uh, the wife of one of our favorite ever San Diego State Aztecs, DJ Gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. DJ Gay's uh, wife nice. works for Dr. Dohani. Yeah, she works there in the clinic. So I nice. uh, love having Raquel here. She's great. She's yeah. Great. It's a great crew. Uh, I want to he, remind everybody. He has taken, uh, had some NAD injections too. He loves it as well. So he could, be, he could be another person that can tell you about his experience as well. Did you say DJ was taking NAD? Is that what you said? Yeah, he's had several injections. He loves it. Yeah, he really, he really loves it as well. So he could be someone you chat with as well. Well, we, we love DJ Gay around here. And we, we would, we'll bring him on and talk to him about this. Dr. Samir Damani. I Thrive MD. The website is ithrivemd.com slash Kaplan. And as Dr. Damani just told everybody, not only will you get your testosterone levels checked for free, but now they'll give you a complimentary NAD injection just so you can feel the benefits. Doctor, this is the first of many along the way. Thank you. Great appearance. We'll talk to you real soon. Have a great rest of your week. Great. Thanks, guys. We'll be right back with more of Scott Kaplan and crew tonight. The very best from today's Scott Kaplan and crew show on the mightier 1090 AM, a new generation of radio. SoCal sports talk. Kaplan and crew tonight is brought to you by BMW San Diego, your certified BMW dealer serving drivers throughout San Diego and their surrounding areas. Our massive signal covers an area where over 24 million people reside. So if you're listening or advertising on another station, we have only one question. Why? The new generation of radio, the all new and mightier 1090. Adventure is waiting for you at BMW San Diego. A new 2022 BMW X3 xDrive 30i waiting for you today. When you lease for only $519 per month plus tax. BMW San Diego, Kearney Mesa Road and the 163. This year, Jobtoberfest is Wednesday, October 13th. It's the largest annual job fair in San Diego County for people with disabilities. CAES is one of our major sponsors. Case is excited to be a partner of this year's Jobtoberfest. At CASE, we believe that our people are our most important asset and value the talent that individuals with disabilities bring to our organization. Join our team and launch your career at CASE. Hope to see you there. Nothing about the last year was normal, but you weathered it with grace, ingenuity, and creativity. In empty classrooms and full Zooms, you kept it together when we were apart. For all that you are, for all that you do, we salute you. Salute to Teachers is proudly sponsored by these charitable companies. Adventure is waiting for you at BMW San Diego. A new 2022 BMW X3 xDrive 30i waiting for you today. When you lease for only $519 per month plus tax. BMW San Diego, Kearney Mesa Road and the 163. Kaplan and Crew tonight presents Let's Talk Hookup. Hi, this is Pete Gray with this week's Fish Report. And although fall is consistently our best time of the year, this fall hasn't been so great. But there are some bright spots. San Clemente Island, Catalina Island, still consistent on some of that smaller grade yellowfin tuna or yellowtail. And then outside where that bluefin tuna has been, that stuff's pushing west and it's not biting as consistently, but there's still some good fish if you get the right weather. The bright spot, the San Diego local banks like the 371, the 425, good yellowfin tuna fishing on the right day with the right setup, 15 to 35 pound fish biting number two gamakatsu hooks and cigar gold fluorocarbon. So be sure to set up with the right equipment. And if you're there on the right day when they want to bite, you're going to have some good action. And this weekend on Let's Talk Hookup, be sure to tune in. We're going to have a couple of great shows. So tune in on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090. Let's Talk Hookup airs on Mightier 1090, Saturday and Sunday, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Catch an all-new local show on the Mightier 1090. Please join us every Thursday at 6 p.m. for the Charity Strike, where you can get three out-of-the-box sports minds whose game is knowing yours. Only on a new generation of radio, the Mightier 1090 AM, SoCal Sports Talk. From fitness to medical technology, explore how people are leading healthier lives on your health. 
Join Erica Cardenas as she introduces you to health experts and discover how our daily choices affect our well-being. Plus, learn simple tips for a healthier living. Your Health, Sunday at 4.30 p.m. on Your View and YourView.com. Brought to you by La Mesa Rehab, improving the lives of those afflicted by chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Learn more at LaMesaRehab.com. COVID vaccines are safe, convenient, and free, and they are effective at protecting you against the coronavirus. I'm Dr. Akila Weber, a pediatric gynecologist and state assembly member, and I got the vaccine to protect my family. There is light at the end of the tunnel, and everyone who receives the vaccine helps us get one step closer to returning to normal. Go get your vaccine today. Visit myturn.ca.gov to find a site near you. Do it for yourself, your family, and for our community. Live soccer is back. Watch Orange County Soccer Club, OC's highest level of professional soccer, live on your view. Watch Orange County SC take on the Phoenix Rising FC, Saturday, October 2nd at 7. Watch world-class players and future stars. Transform your summer with a new family game night and outdoor fun all season long. Live soccer is back. Orange County SC versus the Phoenix Rising FC, Saturday, October 2nd at 7 on your view. At La Jolla Cosmetic, we try to help people achieve well-being. And we feel that it's not only important to look good, but also feel good inside. And honestly, what a better opportunity to help my community than being a supporter of an organization such as Las Patronas. The mission of Las Patronas is to provide financial assistance to local nonprofits that are providing valuable community services in the areas of health, education, social services, and cultural arts. La Jolla Cosmetic has been one of our biggest supporters at Las Patronas, so we couldn't do what we do without their support. You feel the need and you see the need because we go to visit each uh, grant applicant partnering with groups that are actually dedicated to help your community, it's the best thing that you can do as a responsible business. Shelter to Soldier is nine years young with a mission to save lives two at a time. We're adopting dogs from local shelters, training them for post 9-11 combat veterans, and we're able to donate these trained dogs to deserving veterans in need. You know, I was in a very dark place um, I was having suicidal thoughts, and I really needed an immediate help. We don't know if tomorrow is going to be there for us. Shelter to Soldier is a nonprofit, and we're able to do the work that we do because of you, the community. Uh, whether it's an individual donating $5, or whether it's a corporate donor like the Barnes Firm, that's supporting us and sponsoring multiple dogs that are going to make an impact in the veterans' lives in need. Him by my side 24-7 has completely turned my life around. It's not just saving both of our lives. It has made an impact on myself, Nigel, my family, my work. Uh, so yes, they definitely have saved our lives. Kaplan Accrued Tonight is brought to you by BMW San Diego, your certified BMW dealer, serving drivers throughout San Diego and the surrounding areas. Stork is an organization that equips pregnancy resource centers across the nation so that these pregnancy resource centers can reach more women facing unplanned pregnancies and provide them with holistic care, compassionate choices, and just an abundance of resources to support their decision to choose life. Safe the Stork has been around for about 10 years. Uh, most people know us by our Stork buses. A Stork bus is a mobile medical unit that's equipped with the state-of-the-art medical equipment as well as very knowledgeable and experienced medical professionals. The buses enable them to reach areas where maybe there's not a, um, a pregnancy care center nearby. We are here to walk this journey with you so that you're not alone and to help you find your heart in all of this and that means um, and that you're going to make a choice that is truly going to be something that years from now you're going to be proud of. Attention all dogs, cats, horses, tortoises, birds, pigs and all other pets. Get your family members to sit, stay and watch Animal Zone every Saturday at 9 p.m. right here on this channel and at AnimalZone.org. 
Tune in Saturdays at 9 p.m. to watch Animal Zone right here on Your View. for joining us. Catch Scott Kaplan and crew tonight from 7 to 8 p.m. Pacific every Monday through Friday. The very best from today's Scott Kaplan and crew show on the mightier 1090 AM. A new generation of radio. SoCal Sports Talk. 